Hello and welcome to another video on our YouTube channel, All, All Things, Things Nerd. Nerd. And today we are doing another Christmas haul video 2023. Definitely. Obviously, we did the one last year. We did the 2022 last, one last, last year. year. Oh, last, wow. Oh, well, last yeah. year, I guess. Oh, wow. It, it is a, a very long time ago. Although it feels really, really recent. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you should check that out if you've not already. I'm sorry, Although you probably have. I'm sorry this video took a lot of quite a while to get out, but hopefully it, it hopefully it's up and you'll hopefully enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into Louis Hall. And here is all the amazing stuff that I got for Christmas. I didn't see most of my books. I've got I got three Red Dwarf books because I know I'm, I'm a literally I literally love Red Dwarf. I got Lord of the Rings Monopoly. I got all this all these different cool stuff. But yeah, as I said, mostly books. So, let's get into what I got for Christmas. So the first thing I got is the Lord of the Rings Monopoly and it's really cool, it's a must for any collector. Uh, it, all the figurines are all nine in the Fellowship and they're all metal so it's actually like really good quality. So you should, any, any person who loves Lord of the Rings should get that. The next thing I got is a book called The Long and the Short of It and it's a, a book about how we came to measure our world. And it's, so it's a very nerdy book. It tells you about like inches and centimeters and pounds and ounces. I can't wait to read this one. Uh, next, I got a Red Dwarf book, which is actually the third one in the series. Red Dwarf, The Last Human, because I love Red Dwarf. So I need to get the first two now. And it, this, it's so good. Even though I've not read this one yet, I love Red Dwarf. So you should really watch it if you don't know what to watch. I also got two of the Red Dwarf books, which I've actually both read, read both of these. A Red Dwarf vlog, 1996 and the official companion which is a bit more behind the scenes but this is really funny and really cheap on ebay so if you want to start a red dwarf looking looking at red dwarf books then get this one it's really funny then the next thing i got is this really really cool watch uh and it was on i got in case anybody was wondering where i got it two for 20 deal so my brother got one as well it looks really cool i do like how it shines so it's really good and then next i actually got three things the first was a free three month trial to magic stream because i like i'm like a magician uh, so it has like lots of stuff to do with magic and like teaching teaching materials because i spent over 50 pounds on illusionist.com then i got these brad christie and how to do street magic playing cards only 2500 of them were, were, were ever made and i got this for spending over 100 pounds on illusionist for the thing i got next so obviously the biggest thing that i got is your mum Jokes aside, uh, the actual biggest thing I got is the How to Control Minds Kit by Illusionist. This is a step-by-step -step guide to hypnotising people. But not real hypnotism, pseudo-hypnotism. So, because it'd be kind of illegal if you sell real hypnotism techniques. But this isn't real hypnotism, it's pseudo-hypnotism. And things you can do is invisibly touch strangers from, uh, from six feet away. <laughs> they what? really do feel it. Um... Uh, uh, you can put someone in a trance <laughs> using only words. You can make a right-handed person fully left-handed for the rest of the, your for the rest of their life, which I think is really really cool. And you take away somebody's ability to say their own name, plus lots of other effects. And this was a hundred, I think it was like one hundred twelve pounds on Illusionist.com. So if you ever, if you want to look for it and get it, in the box you get, I can open it. In the box you get a pack of cross keys playing cards, which look really cool. You get a book of the making of. You get a really cool pen some dice and you get the key which ha which is a usb stick which has all the information for how to do all the tricks on oil or but they're already downloaded onto my computer so i can't wait to start hypnotizing george and maybe we'll have a maybe we'll show a few clips on all things nerd Who or knows? even all things magic if we ever do yes. make that channel we do need to, to get around to it we do need it. to make that a lot definitely so maybe I'll do a full review on there. You know, who, who knows? Who knows? That's a Doctor Who reference, am I right, guys? Anyway, uh, I think that's enough for me and time for George's. And here you can see everything I got for Christmas. As always, there's lots of Lego, books, and other Doctor Who stuff. So, let's not waste time. Let's get into further detail on everything I got. So the first thing I got was this really cool Lego gift with purchase for £120. It's a, a tribute to a classic lego like knight's castle it was it's really really cool thing and then i also got this really really old set it's lego ideas number it's like one that number, number seven. seven. Oh yeah wow the blue seven. really old the coolest yeah. part about it is definitely the green spacemen they're exclusive to the set 
and then we've got uh, some train tracks, which I'm actually going to use for our upcoming train video. Yeah. Just stay tuned to that. That's going to be really, really good. In about three years. After yeah, when we get around to making yeah. it. I got this cool new Doctor Who action figure set that I've not got before. It's Terror of the Zygon. You get four Doctor and two unit soldiers. Oh, and one of them Sergeant John Benton, so that's pretty cool as well. Mm -hmm. um, I got the two Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy radio scripts, Ooh. which are very, very cool. Original radio scripts by Douglas Adams. He's a, he's a really cool writer. Or oh, he was a really cool writer, I guess. <laughs> um, then I got one of my three big sets. It's the Guardians of the Galaxy new ship. I think it's just called that. I don't think it has an actual name. Yeah, the new Guardians of the Galaxy ship. Wow. Very, very creative. Yeah, definitely. But it's really, really cool. I got it for half price at B&M. So that was a very, very good deal. Yes. And then fun. we've got so one of the really cool things. It's very small, but still very, very cool. The Mandalorian Theory 11 playing cards. These are amazing. If you just take a look at all the detail on all sides, it is absolutely incredible. Just look at the back of one of these cards. This isn't even one of the proper cards, it's just a random one they include with it. It says, this is the way. It's so cool. Here, just let me open it. If you have a look, there's so, so many cool cards. It is amazing. But yeah, if we put that aside, we have my second live set. We've got the Galaxy Explorer. That is cool. This is another tribute set. It's a tribute to classic space. You get the uh, two white spacemen and two red ones. It is just so, so cool. I really, really like this set. And I can't wait to build it. And then finally, the thing you've all been waiting for, my biggest Lego set I have ever got in my entire life. Lego Ideas, the Home Alone House. This is massive. Mm. It is incredible. With battery, inc it's, batteries yeah, it's, included. It's even got light up things. Nice. Uh, stay tuned for the video because they're definitely making at least one video on this. It is massive. If you take a look at the back, you can see all the details. Nice. It's just incredible how big it is. And I've wanted this one for a while, so I'm really, really happy to finally get it. Hi, uh, is this recording? Yes, yes, it's recording. Okay, we need one more sub to get to 100 subs. We're on 99 subs at the moment. I'll come in the frog is going to kill me. He's going to kill me if we don't get to 100 subs. So please, please subscribe right now. Please stop what you're doing and subscribe. Thank you. My grandmother almost lost her dentures when she saw me doing this. <laughs> in three weeks, I'm the talk of the office. I hear people talking about me onto their wives on the phone. Leave other magic teaching materials in the dust. <laughs>